for joining us. Eric has the night off. Four nonprofits set to help senior citizens will become one. New at 10, we look at how the leadership in the new group says this will help even more people. Amy Reed sat down with one of the four directors and joins us now. Amy? This is set to happen at the beginning of next year, and the director I spoke with today and the people using the services are excited. They're just adorable. They come, you know, like little ants all over the place. <laughs> Janet George is fierce, and she likes to do things herself, but she can't always. That was what was so frustrating at first, was I couldn't do anything, you know. Now she gets help from the East Madison Monona Coalition on Aging. Once a week, someone comes to help her with anything. Oh, she vacuum, she, she has cleaned out cupboards. Anything she needs. It was all done for me. It was wonderful, because I've been sitting here and, you know, not being able to do it, and then, oh, great, you know. With a new merger of the East Madison Monona Coalition with three others very similar, Janet's story might be more common. And we've been in conversations about how we can work more collaboratively. And at the end of 2016, we decided that not only do we want to work more collaboratively, but we wanted to merge or consolidate and become one agency. Sonia Lundquist heads up East Madison Monona, but soon she'll be part of the greater agency. She's hoping not only will services continue for people like Janet, but they'll expand for many more. If we can provide more services with the same amount of money and we can serve more seniors, that's a win for everybody in the community. That sounds good to Janet because the help she gets means the world. It does. It means everything. It's amazing. The new agency wants to keep all staff on board, but they said with a bigger agency, what they really need more of is volunteers. What a great idea. Amy Reed reporting tonight. Amy, thank you.